All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Engines of God by Jack McDevitt. This book came out in 1994. It is book number one in his Priscilla Hutchins Academy series of novels. I think there's maybe nine or ten books in this series now. Um, I have read and reviewed a handful of Alex, the Alex Benedict series by Jack McDivitt. And the Alex Benedict series is about a um, guy that uh, sort of investigates things in the far future. This book is similar. Uh, now, Alex Benedict investigates like wrecked starships, murders, missing artifacts. It's kind of like an Indiana Jones of the uh, far future. Priscilla Hutchins and the Academy, they're investigating entirely different things. Well, actually not. They're kind of similar, but different. Anyway, let's talk about the cover first, because you know I love graphic design and cover illustration. This has got a pretty cool cover by um, Bob Eggleton, the artist. He did a lot of artwork in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s, one of the more well-known science fiction illustrators out there. Um, okay, so this book starts <clears throat> in the year 2197. There's a bit of a prologue that takes place then. Uh, Priscilla Hutchins and a crew is uh, visiting one of the sculptures on the on a moon uh, on one of Saturn's moons, and these sculptures, um, they are monuments. Um, their makers, they're called the the people that made the people. I don't know the aliens that made these sculptures. They made bunches and bunches of them and sort of planted them on different moons and different planets throughout the galaxy. But they are called they are called the monument makers. This race. We don't know who they are, though. We don't know who they are. Sorry, I'm messing with my camera. There's a few things happening here. Okay. We don't know who the monument makers are. Uh, there's a race of them. The, the, the sculpture that Priscilla Hutchins and her team are visiting on the moon orbiting Saturn is actually what they believe to be a portrait of the alien creatures that created all these monuments. So they think that they kind of know what these alien creatures look like because of this one sculpture. Anyway, um, they're stunning statues. Every single one of them. They're, every, each one of them is different. They're on distant planets throughout the galaxy. Heartbreakingly beautiful. That's the way, the way they're described in the book. And they may or may not hold the key to the survival of all of humanity. <clears throat> so thus, let's try to investigate them, right? So after the prologue, we skip to the year 2202, 2202. So this is, you know, in our not so distant future. Um, and then we're introduced to kind of the Academy and why they're studying these monuments. Hutch Hutchinson, Priscilla Hutchinson, also known as Hutch throughout the novel. She's like a pretty career driven woman, but she still wants a relationship with this guy named Cal. Now, Cal would prefer that she just be kind of a homebody, like a wife, like that they can just settle down and just be a family. But both Hutch and Cal kind of agree that that's just not going to work out. And so they're kind of both heartbroken over this because Cal knows that Hutchinson is just never going to... She just... She's well-educated... She's one of the top scientists in the galaxy. She's just going to want to be on adventure after adventure, studying different stars and planets and artifacts and all that. So they agree to sort of um, be separate, live their separate lives. Um, she knows that this is the case, too. She desperately wants to this guy to ask her to marry her. She desperately does. But she, in the back of her mind, she knows. I have wanderlust. I will eventually leave this guy. He knows it, too. That's kind of the setup of her personal story. We've also got a guy named Richard Wald who's living in Maine um, on Earth, uh, and he's part of the Academy. And there's a few other characters that are part of this Academy, this team of scientists 
that um, go investigate things about the galaxy. Um, now they're on a trip to a place called Kuraku. Q-U-R-A-U-K-U-A. -U -U Kuraku, I think. Go, they're going to visit another one of these monuments on a planet. Um, they want to terror the people. The they want to terraform this planet. They want to turn it into kind of a utopia um, of some sort. But there's, there, of course, there's this sculpture on it. Um, and then we kind of get into the mystery of these sculptures. Who built them? What's going on? Should we be terraforming planets at all? Um, how is this going to end? Are, who are these alien creatures that created these monuments? Um, what what are the engines of God exactly? Um, are they way stations? Are these sculptures way stations? Are they portals? Are they uh, warning signs? If we can figure out the warning signs, what do they mean? What are they saying? Are, are they sacrificial altars? Um, what do they have to do with our own Bible? Uh and uh, how are they the key to the survival of the human race? That's all the stuff that's uh, going on in this book. Pretty good, high science fiction, very, uh, very like mind bending type ideas. Probably that's the distinction I would make between the Alex Benedict series and the Priscilla Hutchins series so far. I think this is dealing with sort of your Isaac Asimov level type way out space ideas. Whereas the Alex Benedict novels are a little bit more kind of grounded in just investigation of things or whatever. I don't even know if that makes sense. Anyway, I like this. So I'm going to, I've got all of the Alex Benedict novels. Now I need to decide, do I want to buy all of the uh, Priscilla Hutchins novels? Based off of this book alone, which I was fascinated by, um, I probably will. So I'm going to give this a solid 8.5 out of 10. It is a really, really good beginning to a series that I really am looking forward to, um, you know, reading more of uh, the Academy and Priscilla Hutchins.